Hi everyone and welcome back to another video of mine. I really hope that you're all doing well and that you're having a lovely May. Where has the year gone? <laughs> So in today's video, I just thought I would show you a quick little hack or an unknown little way to curve text. Well first the text I will be using today is have a lovely day. <laughs> so what I like to do is I like to go over here to the left hand column and I just go over to the third one which is the curve shape tool. Click on the page wherever you like and then you can start to draw your curve. And then as you might be able to see here, the shape changes with you. So wherever you click, you're then able to manipulate the shape, which is really, really great. And then once you're done, you just simply come back over here and then click the line shape. And then that long line that was dragged over here is gone. Once you've drawn your line and you put it to how you want it, you go back up to the arrow here. Then you want to click your text, making sure to double click it so the text box is up. So once the text box appears, you want to go over here to this little arrow section here and you want to hold and drag that down to your line. You might find that once your text hits the line, you don't really like the line shape. That's fine. You can just click and then move it over like so. Just remember to double click your text and then go over to this arrow here and then just move it down to the line. So I like that. You're also able to come over here to the left. You're able to see this little thing here. You're able to actually move this up and down and the text will move with you. So that's a fun little trick I like as well. It's really important as well to make sure that this line is actually a dark line and not a red line because that means that the line will cut. The reason why I personally like to do it this way is I feel like you have a little bit more control over the text and you're able to do a versatile range of curves. So the next one I think is the most common way to do it. So what you do is you go over to this shape and you go over to the third one, the circle, and you just simply draw your circle. Then you want to write your text and it's similar to the first one in that you go over here and click and drag this and then it simply snaps into place and you're able to move it around similar to the other one. You're also able to move it inside as well like this. That is a, another way to curve the text. It is definitely, I think, the more easier way and the most common way, but like I said, it's not as versatile as doing it this way with the curve, but that is a great way to do it as well. Whether you do the text this way or that way, you're each able to then change the color of the text simply by going up here and clicking whatever color you like. The last little thing I wanna show you is kind of a fun little take on text. So. It's how to do the text around this heart and if you don't know how to do a heart after I show you how to do the text I will quickly show you how I did this heart. So once again you go over to your text so you want to just double click the text which I've just wrote happy Mother's Day we love you so just double click and then once again you want to go over here to the arrow you want to click and drag that to the, the heart and you can have it inside the heart or outside the heart. So I've just added on the word lots so and now it reads happy mother's day we love you lots and then you can once again go over here and you can drag that up and down to change the look of the text so you can make it more spaced out or more inward so just have a play around to get that how you like. That is just a fun little way to do the text and you can obviously also change the sides of the heart by going like that and whatnot. So that is just a fun quick little way to do that. Once you are happy with your text and how it looks, you want to just select it and convert to path. And then you'll find once you've done that, you are free to move the text around and it is then in the shape that you like like so. So that is just a few fun ways that you're able to curve the text. So it is really fun to have a play around and see what different shapes you're able to do and I find it um, such a great way to change up designs. So now I will quickly show you how to make a heart. So once again you want to go over here to the left hand side and click the eclipse tool which is just this oval one here. You can draw them as thin or as wide as you like. 
to draw two ovals keeping them as symmetrical as you can so once that's done and you've clicked the arrow you want to click on the oval and then up here you will see a green little circle and that is how you can move the objects so you want to do that with both of them you want to try to get them to align with each other so after getting them tilted you then want to move the oval into the other one making sure that the bottom is as straight and neat as possible and then once that's done you're able to have a play around you can make one oval bigger than the other if needs be so once a shape is looking good and resembling something of a heart you want to just drag and select the two oval shapes right click and click weld and then the heart shape is made now you can change it up a little bit you can make it bigger or smaller and you can of course have a play around with the two ovals to get it how you like but that is just a quick tutorial on how I do my heart in silhouette so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video this tutorial on how to curve text a common way a less common way and then how to do a fun little um, text heart as well please let me know in the comments below if you got some value out of this video and what videos you might want to see next so don't forget to like this video thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you're all having a lovely day and i will see you back here in my next one bye